Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to show you 5 amazing tips and tricks for Fall Guys that you probably don't know about. If you don't already know, I stream on Twitch every day except Sundays, link down in the description below. Also, if you like these types of videos and you would like to see more, please don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Fall Guys is a massively multiplayer party game with up to 60 players online in a free-for-all struggle through round after round of escalating chaos until one victor remains. First tip of today's video is about the game mode called the Fruit Shoot. What a lot of people are struggling in this game mode is staying on the line and not dying and falling off. What you should do and how you can easily win this one, you just hold left or right corner and try to avoid all the fruits. It is really easy and really simple and a lot of people don't know about it. Try it out next time and let me know. As you can see on this clip, a lot of people are getting hit in the middle from all these fruits while I'm staying on the side and avoiding everything. What you should also stay careful of is the log that rolls in the middle, so try to stay on the side even on the finish line. The second amazing trick is in the game mode called DoorDash, and this trick is to let you know which door is always the right one. It only works for the last three doors, but it's an amazing trick that will help you so much. The key in this trick is to look at the triangle that is located below the door. Whichever door has the smallest triangle is the right one as you can see in the examples on screen. Third tip in this video is for the game mode called Egg Scramble. This one is pretty self-explanatory and it's really easy, but a lot of people don't use it. When you pick up the eggs and you want to throw it into your basket, all you can do is pick up the egg, jump and throw it, and then let the other spinning things throw it in the actual basket. You don't have to bring it to the basket itself, you can save time and throw more eggs in short amount of time. Also, don't forget that golden eggs give you 5 points instead of the normal eggs that give you 1, so make sure to focus on that. Fourth tip is basically 2 tips, but I will let it go as 1, so if you like this, make sure to drop a like on the video. This tip is for the game mode called the Whirly Gig, and it's a really, really easy. Once you finish the first part of the map, you will see a lot of fans spinning around. If you want to pass this one every single time, all you will have to do is go in between the fan either on the left side or the right side. It will always work. After you finish that part, you will be able to choose to go either left, right or center. I always go center because it's the shortest way and with this trick, you'll be able to go through it without getting hit. The trick about this is to hold the left side the whole time. Hold the furthest left corner you can and just walk into it. The blade will hit you, but you'll still be able to crawl through and get the checkpoint. After you do that, continue jumping and you will qualify without any issues. The last trick is not bound to any game mode, but it works the best in Seesaw. What the trick is about is basically diving right before falling down to avoid getting into the falling animation. This trick works the best in the game modes that have big drops or the game mode like Seesaw where you jump on the vertical one and try to avoid falling down. I hope this guide helped you. If it did, please make sure to smash that like button down below, subscribe and turn on the bell for the future notifications because there will be more Fall Guys tips and trick videos soon. Currently, only 2.8% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed so help me change that. Again, I do stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays, so if you want to stop in and say hi, I would really appreciate that. See you there. Peace.